You don't have to spend a lot of time in New Orleans to realize that we here love the pirate Jean Lafitte and the romantic legend that sprung up around him. We've got bars named after him. We've got a wildlife refuge named after him. There's even a town in Jefferson Parish named after him. And that last point got reader Steve Ruiz thinking. He writes, did Jean Lafitte the pirate ever live in Jean Lafitte the town? Conveniently enough, we've just completed an episode on Jean Lafitte for our NOLA.com podcast, Voodoo City. And as we learn, the answer to Steve's question is a definitive and unequivocal maybe? You see, Lafitte was a pirate, or technically a privateer, which is a legal pirate, but you know, Creole tomato, Creole tomato. Anyway, like all good pirates, he apparently didn't like to leave a fingerprint, and that includes leaving a fingerprint on the historical record. So there aren't many verifiable facts about his life. We don't even know exactly when and where he was born or when and where he died. But according to historian Charles Chamberlain of the University of New Orleans, the mascot for which happens to be the privateers, we do know that Jean Lafitte and his brother Pierre came to New Orleans around 1806 and started a major pirating operation here. Their operation was headquartered out of Barataria Bay on the Gulf Coast of Louisiana. And that location was ideal, it turns out, because it was secluded and remote, so Lafitte's band of buccaneers could do their dirty work without fearing too much interference from law and order types. They'd simply set sail for the Gulf, capture ships, steal the cargo, murder the crew, scuttle the vessels, and then return to Barataria Bay. The problem was just as Barataria Bay was difficult for local officials to reach, it was also difficult for his New Orleans customers to reach. He needed to find a better place to sell his ill-gotten goods. The oft-repeated legend is that he did so in the French Quarter, at the present-day site of Lafitte's blacksmith shop bar, and possibly at another location on Royal Street. Unfortunately, there's nothing at all in the historical record to corroborate any of that. What does seem fairly well established, however, is that Lafitte did set up a pirate marketplace roughly midway between New Orleans and Barataria Bay. It was called The Temple, and it would become, by all accounts, a thriving hub for the purchase of stolen and smuggled goods. As Chamberlain points out, however, it's unclear where exactly the temple was. There's no archaeological evidence pinning it to a certain spot. But if you look at a map, Lafitte is between New Orleans and Barataria Bay, or between-ish, anyway. So while there's no historical evidence that Jean Lafitte the pirate lived in the town that has since been named after him, there's no evidence that he didn't, either. And that, the unanswered question surrounding Jean Lafitte, it's a big part of why his legend is so alluring. He's a question mark, a man of mystery, even all these years later, and we love him for it. Got Louisiana questions? We've got Louisiana answers. Submit your questions about life, history, and politics in Louisiana by emailing latitude at nola.com and check out our Voodoo City podcast at nola.com slash voodoo city. I'm Mike Scott, and thanks for watching.